Hey guys, it's Claudia. I wanted to come to you today with a very quick what sold video. Um, it's Friday and um, some of these sales came in last night. Um, three of them I listed last night. I They were very quick sales. Um, I also t today um, got in my Cyber Monday box. I bought a lot of stuff for vlogging. I'm also testing my lights right now, so please bear with me if the lighting is a little bit off. It's only going to get better. I shoot in my basement and the lighting isn't very good, but we're, um, you know, we're doing some upgrades, so, you know, just bear with me. Um, I'm doing the best I can with the external portable lights that I have, and they're pretty decent. I just don't know how good they'll be for quality-wise, and... I'm always testing angles to see what's going to be better and making sure that I get like everything that I'm trying to show you guys. So I'm going to go through that. I'll go through my what sold now. Um, first thing I sold was on Poshmark. This was a donated um, kids snow suit. Um, I had it up for $15. $17. I had it up for $17 and somebody just bought it straight out. No um, shipping discount. They paid the full entire shipping. So that's a great sale. I've had these for a while. So those are um, one of the first things I got in. So they have been sitting the longest and I'm always surprised when they sell, but obviously the season dictates what's going to go in your store. So obviously, you know, we're coming into winter and um, it's no time. So fun for the Northeast. Okay. I don't know if you guys, um, if I actually shot at the pickup, but I actually, um, did a Facebook marketplace searching for Revere wear on the recommendation of Hustlin' Hooks. And I saw this, but in, I didn't realize when she posted it, that it was the box. I thought this was the item. And I don't know why I didn't, but when I went to go pick it up, it was only $10. It was new in box. So this, um, I listed it very quickly yesterday. I picked it up on Wednesday. So, um, I listed it last night and it sold last night. Um, within hours of listing it, it sold for $40 plus shipping on top. So, um, I think the buyer's all in like $59 into that one two quart saucepan, which was really good for me, you know, four times my money. It was great in and out. Um, those are really great to do. If you have a bolo, be on the lookout um, and you can kind of just not even really store anything, but ship it out really quickly too. You know, I, I do those all the time. So, you know, everybody runs their business a little bit different. A lot of people say you got to make 10 times your money minimum. Um, I don't come from that school of thought. I think the smalls or the quicks, also move your store in the algorithms and I think that it really does help you in the end. Another thing that sold that I just listed last night and I sourced this on my sourcing um, last week during that huge day of thrift shops that I went to um, and I did go over this with you. I think it was five dollars that I paid for this. It was a car. Um, what is it? Auto page um, car alarm. And I didn't think that everything was inside, but you know, when I went through everything, everything was sealed and in its um, factory casing and the alarms here, these little car alarms were also in the box. So that was really great. So the buyer is um, all in $40 on this item. And the last thing that I sold was really funny. So I listed this last night. I got this in a bundle of three Nintendo 3DSs and then a case full of Nintendo games. And I got those three Nintendo DS, um, Nintendo DSs, um, their lights. And I got a dress, um, I don't think I listed the dress yet, but it is, I can't even remember the brand, but it was worth a pickup. And I also got a, a bat. So um, I, I offered her $80 for everything and she took it. I listed when I was looking at items, the, this Nintendo 3DS hinge is broken. So it's still playable. Um, it also did not come with a um, pen. 
and this one also didn't come with a charger so um and if you look closely you can see that it's missing a piece here on the casing on the outside and the hinge is cracked here on the inside i photographed it all i listed it last night um i listed it for 24.99 plus shipping and then looking at it and weighing it i decided today to take a look at it just to make sure that i had listed it properly and i auto populated it from a different nintendo 3ds listing and the danger of that sometimes is that you don't realize that they filled out um a field and it'll affect your listing. So when I went back to look at it today, I realized that it said it was damaged and not working in one of the subfields. And so I went in and I took that out and then looking at it and looking at the weight of this item, I'm gonna, I can, um, I'm gonna weigh it right now. But I know this item, I know that it's under a pound, um, especially without the charger, it weighs seven ounces eight ounces. So I'm going to ship this out at a one ounce, uh, one pound rate. And, um, it's going to cost me $4 to ship $24.99. The buyer's all in on this item. Um, they pay their little tax and it's going a state away. So it's not a big deal. And I think I'll ship it. I think it'll ship for three or $4. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Something like that, but definitely under five. So I got $20 profit on this item. Um, I'm selling that by piece. I got some really good, the other two were really good units and I'm bundling them with the games that came with it. And then I'm selling the, um, the other case with a few games in it and separately. So I'm going to be making my money plus plus. I just don't know where I'm at yet with that. I just listed all of them yesterday. So, so far so good. Somebody bought the old one and it was funny because I went in and I said really quickly, um, after I said everything, why would I buy this? Um, why would you buy this? And I said, because it, it's a good starter unit for a small child um, and a beginner. Um, instead of going out and spending a lot of money, maybe they drop things or break things. And this is a fully functioning unit. Or you're an adult and you want to relive your youth, but you don't want to spend a bundle. So this is a really good buy. I felt really good about it. Comps were right there in what it sold for. So um, for damaged units, actually some were getting quite a bit less. Um, I saw some going for nine to twelve dollars. So I'm really happy with what I made. And again, in out, I'm happy with it. All right. So um, all told, that was like a light day. It's I have had some really crazy days um, with shipping, really hard shipping. But these are not really hard at all. Two of these are already in a box. I think this will ship in a shoe box. As a matter of fact, I'll grab it right now. Oops. Yep, so that fit right inside of a USPS priority um, packing shoe box. So that's already to go. I just have to tape it up and print my labels. This is going to ship in a poly bag you don't have poly bags if you're just starting you know these um these are invaluable and get them a little bit bigger but not um i think what's the size on this let me measure it real quick this is a nine and a half it's a, a nine and a half by 13 size bag bubble mailer you can fit a lot of stuff in this bag and um it's really good um, to be able to, it's really good to be able to ship um, a lot of things in one or two size bags and not have to buy a lot of individually sized bags. Um, I have a lot of little individual size bags that I bought initially and I use my, my $50 um, eBay discount for it. So uh, just so you know, so I was putting this into a I was just packaging it up um, just for some protection, extra protection. And then I'm putting it inside of a plastic poly, clear poly. And then I'm putting that inside of a bubble mailer and I'm gonna mail that out. Okay. And the 
Poshmark order will go into a USPS. I think I'll just put it in here. But I'm also gonna wrap that up nicely. Um, I have these big clear poly bags and I'm putting it in. So I mean, shipping today is really easy. I've had really crazy shipping days where I'm shipping out 13, 15 items or big, huge Facebook Marketplace. I've been taking advantage of Facebook Marketplace and shipping out through their free shipping, some of my bigger toy items. So that's been really great. And it's been such a savings um, because to ship those bigger items, it would have cost me a lot, but because Facebook currently is giving you those eight or what have you, free shipping labels, it's such a, it's such a saver for sellers. So if you haven't done it, get over there, list on Facebook Marketplace and get the free shipping labels and that way you're more attractive to buyers if they if you have something that they want they won't be paying shipping and neither will you so you at the end of the day you'll make a little bit more money and currently facebook is not char charging um platform fees but they will be i believe jan one is when they go live but don't quote me on that i i briefly heard it on another youtube page and then i um and then i saw it um on one of my invoices but i cannot remember the exact start date so there's that. Um, I'll do the last one in a second. I'm probably going to ship this in side of that same box. I actually might have a smaller box that I got from. Um, oh, I know. I get all different size boxes from the USPS free site. If you have not gotten them, go to the USPS.com website and order your free supplies. I order, I try to order enough to last quarterly. If I hear through the grapevine that some things are going out or people aren't getting certain things, I go and I order more. So this fits inside of a region, ooh, regional rate A. Hmm. I'll have to look that up. What box is this? I'm not sure of the box number. But it's a region, regional rate A. So let me just take a look at that and see if that's, if not, I have another box from eBay that I can use. Um, this one down here. So I used my eBay credits, um, my $50 eBay. Oh no, that's too small. What is this, a four by four? Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right, I'll find, I'll find a box. I have tons of boxes. I'll, I have so many boxes that it's ridiculous because I save boxes from when I get my shipments and then I also purchase with my $50 gift certificate that I get from eBay quarterly. So um, it's definitely led to many extra supplies like tape and eBay packing paper and these different size poly bags. So let me quickly show you what I got. So um, I was hoping to get a tripod, but I messed up. So this is a tripod that I bought and it's really cool and it extends really high and you can use it kind of like a selfie stick. Um, do, wah, wah, wah. It's for a real camera. I don't have the, one of those. So um, I'm going to have to return this because it's not going to work. I'm currently taping or videoing on my cell phone. So just for ease right now, um, so I was doing a little research and if I can remember, I'll put the gentleman's um, YouTube page. Um, I'll put his YouTube page up, but he recommended and, and displayed this. It's called the vlog pocket, um, by Feu tech. So, and it, it's a foldable smartphone gimbal. So I figured I would try this out, see if it 
is getting good readings. It was a good price. I think it was like $30 or $40. And I figured I would give it a... Thank God it was in the box. Um, so, yeah. So, I figured I'd give it a try and see if it helps with vlogging and being able to take you around my space. Um, currently, I'm doing it by hand. I feel like... I feel like you're gonna get sick if I video it with the motion. So I figured um, it has the gimbals are also a tripod, so I'll, it'll be able to hold my phone, I'll be able to take it around, and we'll see where we go with it. <laughs> this is all new to me. I, um, I just started this YouTube, so I figured um, I wouldn't really get too, too crazy with um, expenses such as a new camera or a GoPro um, right now, but definitely if I see that I'm able to get the hang of it and continue, then I definitely will invest in um, a GoPro. So that's me for today. Um, it's a light day, you know? It's good, I'm going out tonight for the first time in like a million years. So we're going out to dinner, Mexican. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If not, um, come back, leave comments. I'll do better. Um, thanks a lot. See you soon.